Now, kid, now adults, this is where you tell your kids to go in the other room and get a cookie, okay? Probably for the next two and a half minutes. It's gonna get ugly. Welcome everybody. We made it to Indiana. I'm here in Northwest Indiana at my my childhood home, you could say. This 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 is it. It's definitely a nice break from the excessive heat over in Phoenix, so I realized that I came here with absolutely no running shoes. I had planned on running every day since I don't have access to a gym here, uh, but I don't have anything to run in. So we're gonna go run some errands, get some lunch, check out the town. Let's uh, Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. I don't know. Looks so good. Brownie cheesecake does look pretty good. Brownie cheesecake does look pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do a brownie cheesecake. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Free donut day! I was thinking it was the first. Free donut day next door. You guys are in uh, Northwest Indiana and you need any kind of running stuff, please come here to Extra Mile of Running. Uh, thank you to everybody here for the awesome new pair of Brooks. And socks. And socks, apparently. Socks will fit his feet. Apparently I'm, apparently I need better socks. All right, so back here at home, just got my, finally got a one mile run in today, so I'm trying to run as opposed to just doing nothing so I don't go back to the gym and get wrecked. Got my first legitimate pair of running shoes. Uh, I've never had any like dedicated running shoes before and um, they're fantastic, it's like running on a cloud. All right, so going back in time, I'm gonna welcome the man, the myth, the legend, the terrorist, Bob Freniak. Now kid, now adults, this is where you tell your kids to go in the other room and get a cookie, okay? Probably for the next two and a half minutes. It's gonna get ugly. I have not been convicted yet this year. This year? Of anything that's provable in court? Well, technically, yeah. I mean, technically yeah. not? Okay. Well, what's the statute of limitations? Uh, usually a couple of years. A couple of years? Yeah, I mean, but except for murder, there's, there's no statute of limitations for that. Oh, next story. Best friends in high school. But she, he keeps reminding me of stuff I totally forgot about. Oh yeah. I think my sometimers is kicking in. And sometimers is not Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is when you forget all, you're old and you forget shit. Sometimers is when you're not quite old enough, but you're still forgetting You still shit. forget shit all the time. Yeah. Do you forget where you live sometimes? No, I, my driver's license and I got a smartphone that tells me how to get home. Oh, that's perfect. Well, that's good. Well, see, you know, that's or all. my last three girlfriends. They told me where to go all the time. Your last three girlfriends? No, that's the hell. What are we doing today? Well, we're gonna cross state lines. What the hell? We'll hit up some rooftop decks and uh, we'll show her Lake Michigan. Oh, yeah. And, what a real uh, lake looks as, like. As long as she's cool, yeah. you, she won't take the two hour boat ride to nowhere. This yeah, this is the uh, this is the bed and breakfast of uh, Norfolk, Indiana. We've got guard towers and high walls for your convenience. And they have a special chair there that they even put power to. They put power to a special it's chair. Soft. Yeah. Hey. It's electrifying. <laughs> It's an electrifying, it's an electrifying, it's tantalizing, tantalizing experience. <laughs> you might as well just go as far as saying it's a shocking experience. Shocking experience. I want to hear about the time that you got kicked out of Guatemala. You, you don't have enough battery. I want to, come on, don't, don't, don't stall. I want to hear about the time you got kicked out of Guatemala. 
Okay, so I went down there for a charity called uh, Hearts in Motion. Uh, myself and a battalion the fire chief from Gary, we did, we're doing high angle rope rescue. I went down there to teach uh, half mad rope rescue, trench rescue, everything. At the end of every day, we were in this villa in the southeast part of the county, our country. But then there's this hotel, just beautiful hotel, and it had uh, villas and everything. And then there's the Shell gas station. I'll never forget the Shell gas station. Cleanest gas station I've ever seen in my life. Like they mopped the concrete floors and like washed the pumps every day. And uh, there's a cobbled driveway that went up in the mountains. And me and Carrie, like they told us at night, you don't venture outside the thing. And we're like, me and Carrie, like. We're two big dudes, who fucking cares? We walk down to the gas station, and we get some alcohol, we walk back, we see some black cars pull up on this paved road, on this cobble road, they stop, they're looking at us, we're kind of looking at them, we're like, hey, you know, three BMWs. Not thinking we're in a third world country where the average income is like nine cents a year. The people in charge of the charity, they meet us and they're like, hey, you know, none of the firemen can do anything. Uh, they, they have to go back to the field, they have to go back to work. We thank you, we got you an early flight out of the country. And me and Carrie were both like, hang on, you know, something ain't right here, okay? They already had our stuff packed, and me and Carrie were like, all the rope rescue stuff we brought down, and we're like, you know, something ain't right. So, we just gig in the car, and we're going on our six hour ride back to the airport. Almost back to the airport, and me and Carrie are talking, like, trying to figure out why we're going back early, who did we piss off, you know, maybe we said something wrong in translation or something. Well, I wound up, the black SUVs was the drug lord of the country who basically back bankrolled the politicians and they thought we were uh, government like FBI, DEA, CIA, something like that. They put a, they told us, you know, hey, get them out of our, our backyard because we were on the other side of the country and this guy's front lawn because he lived up in the mountain. They found out the charity was town and they said they were firemen and everything. So they gave us 24 hours to get out of the country. And we later find this out as we're pulling up to the airport because our driver, who we thought only spoke, spoke Spanish, he actually was bilingual in Spanish and English. So as we pull up to the airport, he tells us this whole story. I look at Carrie, Carrie looks at me, and we both say at the same time, like, airport, we're out of here, bye, peace. Now I cannot travel in Guatemala. Because you're a, because you'd be a wanted man. I'll be dead. You'd be a dead man. I'll be fed to a, a gorilla in the southeast side of the country in a rainforest. All because you guys I went to, see, this is why I don't do charity work. Folks, don't do charity work because you get a bounty put on your head and threatened to kill, okay? So don't do charity work. Haven't done charity work since. Okay, the charity work sounds, it sounds so good, but I, I don't really want to make any drug lords mad and uh, potentially uh, have to leave the country. It's like guacamole. It's good until it gets warm. <laughs> right. I like bar. <laughs> Bob's definitely the guy that you do not take with you to the airport, or if you do, you leave like two hours early. Airports are friendly. <laughs> Homeland security sucks. Say goodbye, everybody, Bob. Oh, there you go. We're really creepy. Go to though. bed. This vlog's over. This, yeah, this, it's over. This vlog is over. It's I over. I made it. Go to bed. That's it. <laughs> Sounds good. Hey, yeah, I made it. Go to bed.